Yes, yes, yes. You know how we do it. Hot big trends on the timeline today and we are checking them out plus the conversations they have generated online. Thank you for joining us on NC Trends. My name is Shun Bankali. First big story. The Uganda Christian University body yesterday held a student leaders conference to discuss the impact of COVID-19 on the education sector in Uganda. The goal was to hear the students' voice on how they are and how better the education system must do in this COVID-19 period. This move has generated lots of comments and it is clear that 15 million children are out of school and the price of online services are costly. The big question remains, what must be done to enable children go back to schools in Uganda? Let's see a few tweets. Slim Happy says the government ought to have a clear education and infrastructure policy before implementation, mainly for the children in rural areas. Dime says, since the youth are the future, the future is currently seated at home. We need to change the government's priorities. Hashtag Students Voice Uganda. Also, Dr. Martin K says, we need to look deeper into the education sector with more precision and embrace an element within it called psychosocial development. Hashtag Students Voice Uganda. We now move to South Africa, where sweeps are unhappy with the new Johannesburg mayor, Jolidi Matongo, and have created the We Reject Mayor of GHB hashtag to reject him on the basis that he is half Zimbabwean. Matongo was elected after receiving more than 260 council votes on Tuesday, and he remains uncontested, a rare occurrence in the city, actually. He is the son of a Zimbabwean who migrated to South Africa several years ago, and he has, named, he has been named the new Johannesburg executive mayor after a special meeting to fill the post left vacant by Geoff Makubo, who succumbed to COVID-19 complications. When he accepted his nomination to be mayor during Tuesday's council, Matongo said, and I quote, I, Jolidi Matongo, the son of the late Edward Matongo, a migrant from Zimbabwe, do here accept the nomination for the executive mayor of our city. Today, Matongo is expected to be inaugurated as mayor, as announced by his members of mayoral committee team, but South Africans are not having it, though some of them have an issue with the fact that the rest of South Africans have rejected him, but some of them are not down for it. Let's see a few tweets. Ofani Justice says, tribalism is a disease which must be fought against and be defeated or exorcised. VMIC says, South Africa has such a huge population of people born of migrant fathers. Some of y'all were never told about your fathers who are migrant men. You got relatives who have one parent as a migrant. Do you hate them too? Are you saying all these people have no right to be South African? Also, Top Dog says, South Africa is our only home. We cannot allow this to happen under our watch. When we wake up, our country will be long gone. Hashtag reject mayor of PHP. Now that's all on that. There will be no disrespect as long as I am head of house. Nope, I didn't say this. Pere did. The third head of house for Big Brother Nigeria Season 6, Pere, has declared that he will condone no disrespect while holding the position. The wildcard housemate addressed fellow housemates this morning after a fight broke out between Maria and Queen. Authoritatively speaking, the head of house told the others that his position comes with respect and he must be treated accordingly. He said, and I quote, you can disrespect me as a person, but the emblem on my neck signifies authority, so there will be no disrespect as long as I am the head of house. Many viewers of the show found the speech demeaning to fellow housemates and have since tagged him General Perry of the Big Brother military regime. Let's see a few posts from the gram. D underscore billionaire says, with the training that he's passed through, he knows the value of authority, so him they flex him. At least something will make the show interesting. Content. Also, Fudi Daku says, Perez eviction go too bad, though. The way housemates will nominate him back to back, eh? We are looking forward to Sunday. Mara Odefe says, Omo, if Perez be assistant Jesus, if he come on everybody's name from the book of life, if we know greet him. <laughs> and that's it on NC Trends today. Remember to follow us across social media at New Central TV and subscribe on YouTube to stay up to date with back to back reports from around the African continent. I am Shion Bankale. Thank you for watching. Thank you.